Well, I would say that we're not pushed in a particular direction. So they, let's say you're talking about a Christian. Yeah, I believe in creation and I believe all this stuff. But they don't, they don't seem to understand why the house is on fire. Um, right. And, and this, is, this is why, I think. Um, Christians, basically, a lot of Christians take the things you, you, the things you were just saying and which I would affirm as well, that atheism and secularism and there is no God, that has downstream ramifications. And they take that and they say, okay, I'm willing to check that off. I, I agree with that. But they live next door to an atheist. And when they go on vacation, they wouldn't mind asking this atheist who seems like a nice guy to take their mail in and to watch their dog and, you know, things like that. Right. They, they don't believe that as soon as their camper is around the corner— that the atheist is going to run over and burn down their house because atheism, right? They, they, they say, that's just ridiculous. I live next to an atheist. I know him. He's a nice guy, right? But the problem is they're not getting a, an adequate sample size. Uh, there are atheists who live in the middle of Christian societies who are propped up by those Christian societies, mm. who, who are their cultural and uh, societal expectations that hold them in. There's never been an atheistic society that wasn't a hellhole. Every every atheistic society where um, the governing authorities said there is no God above us and we're all just the end product, you know, just think North Korea. Um, right. You you think of places like that. So when when the uh, uh, the theology or the anti theology works its way out to the corporate level, what you get is totalitarianism, absolutism, chaos, anarchy. You get what you get is a total mess. Put another way, what you get is what we're getting now. All right. We're starting to see the, the formation of the chaos merchants. The, the chaos merchants want everything to be torn down. And this is because there's a fundamental ancient pagan faith that believes that order springs spontaneous, spontaneously out of chaos. And if, if the civilization, the Christian order that you despise is getting in your way. What you do is you blow the whole thing up in the faith that something magnificent will replace it. <laughs> All right. Because Darwin. Darwin.